Hey everyone, Matt here. Complete Control has been updated to version 1.8 and most importantly now offers users enhanced smart play features, giving you many more options to play scales and chords in new and advanced ways. There's also some nice workflow optimizations as well as a newly added control for clock-based instruments when using Complete Control standalone. So let's check it out. So I have a track playing that has one instance of machine loaded up and one instance of complete control loaded up inside of my DAW. First thing I want to show you is that if I bounce over, and remember you can switch between your different channels in your DAW by just simply clicking. And now this update provides enhanced integration with machine when it's loaded as a plugin inside of your host. So what I'm going to do to do this is simply come in and make sure I'm clicked on the keyboard icon here inside of machine, which will tell the complete control to focus on machine plugin. And we'll just set up a new pattern. So very nice little simple feature that helps with the workflow. All right, to get back out, I'm gonna hit shift instance and now bounce over to this version of complete control with a lovely FM8 patch loaded up. Let's discuss the new Smart Play features. So if we come into the scale mode, I'm gonna hit shift scale to activate all the features in here, and we see a C major. Everyone knows how to play that one, right? So the main modes have not changed. We have the major, minor, harmonic, minor, everything you're used to seeing inside of uh, Complete Control up to this moment. But now we have an extra option to come into, for instance, say the modes. So I grew up with music theory, shredding modes on my uh, guitar in my, in my room during high school. So I'm more familiar seeing like Aeolian, for instance, if I want a minor scale. And we can try out different scales. Maybe Phrygian would sound good on this one. You never know. So in addition to that, the different modes, you might have more jazzy styles. Try different scales you might not know of. World, maybe we want to get uh, Indian or Middle Eastern type scale. So really, it's just going to give you a couple different flavors of how to work with this. And with that many options, you're bound to find something creative. Now, last I'll come to, for instance, let's just come into minor scale modes and let's try one here called Hexa1. Now, keep in mind for all you Complete 11 users and Complete 10 users, you get the Complete Control software. You might not own the Complete Control keyboard, but you can still use the software to take advantage of these scales and arps and chords with any controller keyboard that you have uh, and it's accessed right from here in the GUI. Now, one of the cool new things is with all these different modes, uh, I find myself using the harmonize feature a lot more. So I'm getting more mileage out of like a one, three, five chord, for instance. Just by trying out different scale modes. So it's a really nice difference between, you know, just selecting a different mode. It's going to give you a really different option to work with. Very nice. Moving on from there, what do we have? Well, we can come in and actually do inversions now. Here's the one, three, five lit up. But if I turn it up, Here's the inversion of that chord. And you can go the opposite way as well. So really this gives you a lot more mileage to that. Now, in addition to that, a really cool feature is this, if we turn it all the way to the right or all the way to the left, we get this auto feature. 
And what that's going to do, let me show you here. Let's uh, let's put this in uh, chord set mode. Let's mute my synth line here. So if I change this from root to auto, that'll sound completely different. In fact, it's just using an algorithm inside of the code of the software to basically do a more realistic um, kind of chord progression based on where you are with all the inversions. So really nice feature. All of these options are just going to allow you to kind of play around and come up with a new creative idea based off of that. So I find it very helpful and a welcome addition. And lastly, the Complete Control 1.8 update gives you control over any clock-based instruments, anything with a sequencer or a transport control inside of Complete Control standalone now. So I can turn on the clock of an instrument. I can stop it. I can restart it, shift play. And I can also adjust the tempo by holding shift, pressing down on the encoder, and turning it down. A very welcome addition as well. Enjoy.